Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're going to talk about the news that got released in the game and let's go with the first one. So basically this Friday it's going to be the second part of the Type 0 um, big uh, collaboration or event and we're going to have the big bridge. It's going to be an exploration map and in this big exploration map you're going to be able to fight Mr. Gilgamesh. He looks a little bit different but I gotta say he looks really really cool. And uh, here's what uh, Mr. Mog has to say about Mr. Gilgamesh. So come prepared with fire, ice and lightning attacks. Kupo, defeat him before his HP goes below 50% and bring abilities that can remove status effect Kupo. So we're going to see the mission rewards and I got to say uh, they look really, really good. These mission rewards are actually really, really nice. So initial completion reward, you get a 5% Moogle. Also, mission Complete the quest, you get King's Armor, which is a heavy armor, defense 54, boost all element resistance by 20% and boost all status ailment resistance by 50%. This is really, really nice. I love this. Even if there's no spirit, just having that elemental resist by 20% is really, really nice. Also, no escapes. Uh, you will have knowing tags, 10,000 of them. Deal fire, ice and lightning damage two times or more each to an enemy. Fire resistance plus 20%, which is really, really good. And defeat Gilgamesh with a limit burst, you get a 5% Moogle. Uh, I gotta say, that uh, that King's Armor, it looks really, really nice. Uh, especially if you are a newer player to the game and you're able to do that exploration. This is going to be really, really good for you. And even for veteran players, this is actually going to be really, really nice. Also, if you guys know exactly why uh, my game is... Um, kind of uh, zoomed in for these uh, these news let me know down below in the comment section because I've been trying to fix this or uh, looking up online and uh, I can't find anything about it but uh, yeah so if you guys know please let me know in the comment section down below how to fix this then we're gonna have something new lion of the mysterious woods basically it's gonna be a story event which story event we're gonna bring uh, more crisps for us so if you guys are lacking power crisps healing Chris, support Chris, all these things, you guys will be able to farm them here and also get more lapis, more lapis, lapis, lapis and also more rewards. So with the new story event, obviously we're going to get some new characters and on the second week, we're going to have a second part of the map open where you're going to be able to farm exactly the Chris that you need. So uh, let's go over the units that we're going to be getting in this story event. So let's go right here, Final Fantasy, bam! We're going to have Magna, Elephim, and Leopold, and the <laughs> that knife is so big, it's so amazing. Forlsket, Forlsket, I think that's how you say the name. But I gotta say, uh, really cool, we only have one 5 star in this banner, and it's going to be Elephim. Uh, Magna, Leopold are going to be 4 star going to 6 stars, and Forlsket is going to be our 3 star going into 5 star. And I gotta say guys, uh, you don't need to pull for her. But if you want to, go for it. Because she, she got a nice global upgrade. And uh, she's a bard. She's going to be able to sing for your party. Get more stuff. Uh, get the stats up. She's a good breaker also. She's able to break the uh, attack, defense, magic, and spirit by 50% by single target while singing and stuff like that. So she's not bad at all. So if you guys don't have a good support character, a bard, or a good uh, buffer like Nicole or Ignis, she could do the job. She could do the job. So let's go over Super Trust Master. Well, let's go over the Trust Master first. Uh, it's an ARP, two-ended weapon, attack 12, magic 23, spirit 125, and it gives you HP 20%, which is really, really nice. And her Super Trust Master is actually pretty good. Illithim's Dress, defense 25, magic 30, spirit 75, it's all in raw stats. HP 20%, enables Mistral's Silk and Mistral's Passion. Mistral's Silk, Slick, Silk, no, Silk, you're good. Uh, reduce MP consume by singing abilities by 20%, so it's actually pretty good. And our global upgrade, boost LB gauge fill rate. And trust me guys, you want to boost her LB gauge as fast as possible, because her LB gauge is actually where she shines the most. So, her LB gauge, she gets an upgrade uh, when you equip her with one of her, uh, one of her equipment. Uh, basically what it does, it's a 45 crystal. You're going to be able to decrease the attack, defense, magic, and spirit of all enemies for 3 turns by 75%. So she has a 75% break 
to attack, defense, magic and spirit for 3 turns, which is really really strong and she's gonna be able to buff your attack, defense, magic and spirit for 3 turns by 145%, which is really really good. It's a really strong break and a really good buff for the whole party. So if you guys are able to get her, uh, sorry I was uh, reading this stuff on the, on the Xvideos Gamepedia. Uh, so if you guys are able to spam her LB, you're gonna be able to keep the boss broken by 75% and your party buffed up by 145% every single time. So it's really really strong, really really good move. Uh, right here we, uh, we can see her abilities. Spiritual Rondo, 7 star move, boost defense and spirit and gradually regenerate HP for all allies and reduce attack and magic for all enemies while singing. Then she has White Wings canta uh, Cantata, gradually regenerate HP while singing and enable dual white magic for all allies. So basically she gives access to dual white magic to your whole party. Then Black Wings Serena, uh, Serenade, Serenade, sorry. Uh, gradually regenerate MP while singing and enables dual black magic for all allies, which is really really cool But like I said their LB is really 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 where she shines the most then we have Leopold Basically our four star go into six star uh, Gust main is his trust master defense 20% HP 30% which is really really good and boost with wind resistance by 30% so let's be honest if you guys get these characters you're basically just going for the trust master because this one is actually really really good then we're gonna move on to this one right here magna uh pretty cool she has a chaining ability where she's able to chain with divine ruination family so uh that's gonna be the nice thing and her trust master is actually pretty cool boost mp by 10 percent and boost equipment magic by 50 percent if i'm not mistaken when i checked online uh when a single weapon is equipped in both ends also yeah there you go Global upgrade or magic boost increase from 25 to 50%. So right here, she's going to be able to boost your magic by the equipment magic by 50%, which is really nice, good, uh, really good TMR to have. Then sacred flux, light damage to all enemies and power up con con with consecutive uses. If I'm not mistaken, that's the one that's going to be able to chain with divine ruination. So every time you use it, it's going to do more and more damage up to six turn. So I think on six turn is going to be where she ca uh, where he caps out. The amount of damage that he's able to do then magic amplification restore own mp and dual sacred flux for one turn so you're going to be able to cast this move twice in one turn then luminous fall reduce spr and light resistance for all enemies not that bad then this one right here our cook let's be honest we're just going to go for the tm uh attack 72 and spirit 91 it's a great sword uh, so if you guys are able to get the great sword really really good for your magic cover tanks and stuff like that to get a lot of spr or just uh in general it's a good sword to have because you never know it might be useful in some fight or for your damage dealers if you want them to survive a little bit more and uh, you don't have a magic cover tank well here's your chance to survive a little bit more and dish out just a little bit less damage but still being able to survive is really really good so these are the units we're gonna have on friday then we're gonna have one more thing showing up for us Castle Malfica is making a comeback if the page decides to load. Is it gonna load? Let's see right here. Can you load? Well, it's not loading, but Castle Malfica will be making a comeback. Now, uh, I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna get swords, short swords, uh, great swords, and lance or something like that, but I do hope we get the great swords making a comeback because I, I I got some great swords that I need to oh there you go yeah hey, finally it's coming back so on Thursday uh, after maintenance we're gonna have the uh, still castle still castle Melfica making the comeback so right here uh, I think we're gonna be able to do great swords katana I'm not sure exactly what they're saying but uh, I think it's gonna be great swords throwing weapons whip and uh, maybe maces and guns yeah, we'll see. We'll see exactly what we get, but Sealed Castle Milfica is making the comeback, and I'm really happy about that, because I got some great swords that I need to, uh, you know, to get some attack on, or HP and stuff like that, because since the last one, which was almost in uh, maybe July, the last one that they had for great swords, I'm happy that it's making a comeback, because we got some new swords, and we need to upgrade them to make them a little bit stronger. Also, guys, if you have elemental swords and they're not strong, you could still do it. Uh, basically, if you don't have high stats, uh, like uh, let's say Excalibur and you have Durandal, well, Durandal is still going to be good with the light element on it. Just put some attack on it and you're still going to be able to use it 
usefully. Usefully. Can I say that? Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Doesn't matter. Then, our 35 million download celebration part 2. Basically what we're gonna have right here. Uh, we're gonna have a Cactuar giveaway, which is really, really nice. Since uh, those 7 star units are taking a lot of XP. So we're gonna get a uh, max level King Metal Minotaur. And a max level uh, kill King Metal King Metal Gigantor. Alright, so we're gonna get... Both of them every day, which is going to be really nice. So if you guys have some 7 stars to awaken or to max out, this is going to be a good thing to bring them up a little bit more. Also, starting on... Um, this one is going to start on the Friday. So the Cactuar is going to start on the Friday. And our free 10 plus 1 summon is going to start on the Monday. So basically from uh, November 12th all the way up to December 9th. Weekly, we're going to have one free summon of a 10 plus 1 during the week. So on the Monday, you wake up, you open the game, you have a free 10 plus 1 summon. The next week after, for 3 more weeks, you're going to be able to perform a free 10 plus 1 summon. Which is really, really cool. Uh, personally, I think I like the dailies better. But a free 10 plus 1 is also really, really nice. So this is for uh, starting on uh, Monday. And the Cactuars are going to start on Friday. So this Friday, you guys will be able to get your first Cactuars. Then, we got this one right here. Thank you for playing Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Advanced quests have been added into the game. You can access uh, them from Quest Advance after maintenance on November 8th. So on November 8th, we're going to have some Advanced Quest. Bam! Guys, let me know down below. Are you guys excited for the new character? If yes, let me know why. Uh, like I said, she's going to be a really, really good breaker and a good buffer if you're able to spam her LB gauge as much as possible. But other than that, not too crazy. And uh, sorry on the last video for the misinformation that I give about uh, Machina. I really thought that the uh, the break would be random, but no. The breaks are going to be 70% on the first turn, then 55% uh, uh, for 3 turns right after, and 45% uh, for the next 5 turns. So, I gotta say, guys, the Type 0 characters are actually a lot better than I expected. So, if you guys haven't pulled for them and you still want to go for them, go for it, because they're really, really good. On this note, guys, if you are new to this channel, please leave a like down below on this video. Comment, do anything that you want, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.